out of all the songs you've done, Barbara, which one means the most to you? Oh, that's impossible to answer. There have been so many, you know, rec been had a career of over 50 years, and it's hard to even remember all the songs that I've done. Yes, yes. I would say um, my song, there, there was a song in uh, Hello, Dolly that I liked. Uh, it, 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 it reminded me, what's the name? Do you know? Well, there were a lot of songs in Hello, Dolly. Uh, yeah, of course, the theme song, Hello, Dolly. Yeah, but there was a lot of songs. You know, can you give me a hint? Um, it was probably Hello, Dolly. Well, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Do you have children at all, Barbara? I have a son. His name is Jason Gould. Uh, does Jason uh, does Jason sing uh, R&B, soul? What, what does he sing? A great American songbook, okay. old Broadway tunes. Um, he really has a beautiful voice. We did a duet at a concert not long ago, um, How Deep is the Ocean. Just made me off the club. <laughs> Do you have a rivalry with uh, certain singers? Are there certain singers that uh, you envy like crazy? I'm Streisand. <laughs> No, I do not. Actually, I love all different kinds of music and appreciate others for their artistry. Now, I've heard a rumor. I've heard that uh, stage acting frightens you. Is that true? No, for a long time, I did have stage fright issue. Uh, you see, when I was young, I did a concert in Central Park, and there were death threats from a Palestinian group. And uh, it was a frightening experience. To death, uh, death threats toward you? Yes. Out in Central Park at the time, Funny Girl was being filmed, and the co-star was Omar Sharif, an Arab gentleman, and they didn't care for a Jewish woman kissing an Arab gentleman. So uh, there were death threats. An arrest was made, but I was so nervous, because I was very young at the time. I, would, I was forgetting the lyrics to the songs, and after that, no more concerts. But then... A number of years later, I was at a birthday party and my friend Liza Minnelli got up and sang a song for me. And I thought, look at all the fun she's having. I need to think about this. And then I started doing concerts again. At, at this particular event, uh, lions represent courage and community service and humanitarianism. Basically, a lion represents helping others. Um, if you had an animal that you could think of, an animal that represents the opposite of helping others, what animal would that be? That's a that's an interesting question. I suppose maybe the barracuda. Oh, really? oh, okay. And and uh, do you personally like the barracuda, or is do you find it disgusting? Well, I've never met one. <laughs> do you have a sweet tooth? Oh, very much so. I love a good Kit Kat. Uh, Kit Kats are your favorite. They're a favorite of mine, absolutely. But I I'm open to any kind of sugary treat anyone might wish to serve me. Uh, given your sweet tooth, is it difficult to keep this beautiful figure that you have? Oh, I think I love you. <laughs> I love you more, Barbara. <laughs> well, anything is a challenge, you know, but we try not to go too nuts. Mm -hmm. And my husband James helps, you know. He's very fit. Okay. Now, how long have you and James been married? 17 years. 17 years. And does James get jealous of uh, Barbara Streisand, uh, the star? Because obviously Barbara Streisand, the star, can be appealing to lots of men. He's very secure, and he's a celebrity in his own right, a, um, a star. You know, so uh, he's very understanding and easygoing, and I just love that about him. And what does James do? I'm not familiar with his work. Uh, well, you may, well, you won't, you're way too young. He first, his first claim to fame, I guess for many people, was he played a doctor on Marcus Welby, MD. You know, I saw an episode of that show while I was on vacation in Cape Cod. It was, it was the young doctor with the beard and the brown hair. Really? That's yeah. insane. He's a silver uh, fox. And I do mean fox. <laughs> I'm sure he is. So gorgeous. <laughs> I, I remember seeing your Oscars performance not too long ago. I think you performed at the Oscars one or two years ago. And it was the first time you performed in the Oscars. Quite a long time. Yeah, I think that the last time before that was like, what, 50 years ago? Yeah. yeah. Now what, what? Which is weird since I'm only 35. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You, I, I was going to say 24. Oh, I think I do love you. I'd love you more, Barbara. <laughs> um, but why, why stay away from the Oscars so long? What kept you away? It wasn't that I was deliberately trying to stay away. It was just busyness and circumstances. You know, and the timing was just right. Everything fell into place. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me, Barbara. You, you're just delightful. Uh, you're, I, I wouldn't be delightful if you were not in my presence. Oh, well, thank you very much.